going on guys my name is alex welcome back to a brand new video in this tutorial i'm going to show you guys exactly how to create these epic amv transitions that are used in all these amv videos and anime videos everything like that so if you are excited for this video make sure to smash the like button down below subscribe if you're new and i would say let's get started okay so for this video i'm going to use three images today and we're going to just go over the transitions i'm going to show you guys how to apply them everything like that so what we're going to do first First of all is we're gonna place them in the right order and I just place them how I just use them also in the intro okay so the first transition that we're gonna use is a kind of spinning transition so what we're gonna do first of all is we're gonna place these clips onto each other then what we're gonna do is I'm going to go ahead and click on the end and I'm gonna go back for example five frames then we're gonna press s on our keyboard to split it then we're gonna go to the event pan crop icon of the clip we're going to click on the very end of the timeline then we're gonna zoom in all the way and then we're gonna rotate this box 360 degrees like that if i close this out this is what it looks like as you can see it's really fast and then we're gonna do the opposite on the other clip so we're gonna go ahead and move up a five frames one two three four five we're gonna press s on our keyboard then we're gonna click on the event pan crop but we need to do now the opposite so we're now at the beginning point we're gonna zoom all the way in then we're gonna rotate this guy like you guys know 360 degrees and then at the end of the keyframe timeline right there we're gonna just right click and we're gonna hit restore now if i play it back this is what it looks like as you can see, that looks very, very nice. So that is one of the transitions that are really epic and that you can just use in any kind of videos. It doesn't necessarily have to be AMV, it can be anything else. So moving on to the next transition, which is basically this awesome slide blur transition. So this is not really that complicated. So what you want to do is you want to create a crossfade, meaning that you will cross over these two clips until you have this little X, this cross. Then we're gonna go to the transitions tab. Unfortunately, only only works if you have the sapphire plugin so what we need to do then is we need to look for the bcc swish pan so we're going to click on there we're going to drag this transition on top of the crossfade and this is what it looks like but say this transition is way too slow you can also make that bigger by just dragging this to the right because making it longer will also make the transition longer and if you want to make it shorter the shorter the transition is going to be so if you want to have a really long transition you can just use it that way as you can see very 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 nice if you want to have it real quick and fast you can just make it just a few frames long and this is how fast it goes and that's another transition, but if you have the uh, Sapphire plugin transition. So let's move on to the last transition that's really, really nice, which is the zoom transition. So what we're going to do, it works the same for the first one. Move up, for example, three frames like that. Then we're going to press S on our keyboard, and then we're going to hit the event pan crop icon. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go to the very end of the keyframe timeline, and then we're going to zoom in just a little bit. And then we're going to do the opposite on the clip that we want to, you know, make the transition into move up three frames press s on your keyboard just the same then you want to hit the event pan crop zoom in just a little bit place your marker at the end of the keyframe timeline and press restore now if i play it back this is what it looks like as you can see very very nice and that's basically how to create these awesome you know epic transitions for amv clips but like i've mentioned you can use this in any other you know kind of content doesn't matter if it's a vlog or anything these will actually fit on any type of footage so guys that's it for this video thank you so much for the continuous support have a great weekend i'll catch you guys next week again with five videos each week so make sure to follow me on twitter and instagram it is both at alex halford for updates and you know when i'm going to publish my next video so guys that's it i will see you guys on monday